and we're just coming off a scrimmage against BU which we had a real tough game on Monday and now we're back at it today and we're going over a couple of things we need to work on our outfield players are working on a little bit of tackling over there and um, technical skills and the goalkeepers have just had a really hard session um, trying to work on their reactions and, and speed but if you do want to go that way too I'll take that because obviously that way is easier but we're hoping that when we do this again, you go down with the defender coming right here to get the ball out. Yeah. You know what I mean? When I dive on that, it's like usually I have a defender, like yeah. double team. So they'll get the ball. I mean, honestly, go there. You're going to get the ball. It's probably going to go off the end line. You're going to take the player out. Yeah. intensity so it's working on our fitness and reacting very quickly to the shot so and you can see in some of the film that we're moving like from side to side in net so it gets us to get set fast in our stance and save Approaching, I want to try to angle her to this baseline. Okay, so and I want to try to protect so that she's not able to take a better angle and start traversing towards the middle of the circle. Okay, so I want to try to angle as much as I can. I want to try to see if I can make a play before this hash mark. Okay, and if I start to get in trouble and Libby starts to get ahead of me, then the goalie has to start making a decision. So this hash mark is crucial for the goalies and for the defenders. You want to be taken out by the goalie and for the attacker, you have to have some vision at that point, okay? Um, well, uh, the team's looking quite good so far. We've uh, been already, I guess, a week into preseason. Uh, the beginning of preseason, the first few practices were obviously concentrating on maybe more our technical skills. Um, but having said that, we did have a, a scrimmage uh, relatively early into preseason and had to get into game formation uh, a little bit during preseason. But today we're you know, back to basic skill work for our players and always takes a little bit of time from them being away from the summer and getting back you know, into their training and into practice mode and, you know, preparing for our season, our season opener. All right, so how do you defend in this midfield area together a little bit better? Even though it's a forward, forward and a midfielder, how do you help each other in these situations? Okay. When it's time to tackle the tough winter jobs, break through with a Fisher XV2 V-Plow. Towering flared wings deliver snow rolling action like you've never seen. Hidden obstacles are a given, but the Fisher Trip Edge system ensures the plowed snow stays where it belongs, in front of the blade. Reliable double acting cylinders lock the wings together at the touch of a button for straight blade operation or clean back dragging. Learn more about the XV2 V-Plow at fisherplows.com or by visiting Bangor Truck Equipment. You support your black bears at the game. Why not support them everywhere you go? 
The exclusive Black Bear debit card only at Maine Savings. The Black Bear debit card is free to you and supports the Alphon Fund each time you use your card for a purchase. Just open a red wallet account at Maine Savings. Stop into our College Avenue branch or any of our other convenient branches. Show your pride. Make a difference. The exclusive Black Bear debit card only at Maine Savings. Learn more at mainesavings.com. Every moment, every action, every decision defines tomorrow. All your yesterdays have led you here, and here is the place where you can define tomorrow. Tomorrow we will be the first to greet the sun and the first to send it away. Tomorrow you'll meet him or her or this guy or them. This guy defined tomorrow, and so did she. This guy writes bestsellers and is shaking hands with that guy. We don't wait for tomorrow. We define it. Define tomorrow. Go to you, Maine. What an incredible setting here at Belgrade Lakes Golf Club. Uh, we're so fortunate to be here for the inaugural uh, Alphon Fun Golf Classic and uh, the, the crew here at Belgrade and the Alphon family have been so uh, generous to us and allowed us to start this uh, Alphon Fund as our umbrella fundraising organization and to have our first signature event, the Golf Classic here at Belgrade Lakes. It's really a special day. For UCU, again, we're you know nonprofit financial cooperative, and truly we're the only credit unions, you know, stated to serve the University of Maine students, employees, and alumni. So, you know, when things like this are happening and uh, big fundraiser for athletics, we want to be involved, and uh, we're you know very pleased to be a participant and a sponsor of today's tournament. And I realize uh, how important this fundraising is, and with the Alphon Challenge as well, uh, it's an uh, honor to be involved. At Maine Savings, we represent 30,000 members around Eastern Maine uh, and in the entire state. Uh, many of our employees and, and members are UMaine grads, so um, and myself as well, with an undergrad and graduate degree from UMaine. So, part of my philosophy and, and devotion is is to UMaine, and throughout my career, I've put myself in a position where I could hopefully make a difference uh, because it's so important to all of us. So. Uh, we're, we're really happy to, um, to do what we can do for the university. Well, I think it's important. I, I think that uh, I know a lot of us, we don't forget where we came uh, from. And, um, you know, the, the experience that we've all gone on in different careers started at the University of Maine. And uh, it's great, obviously, educational-wise, but at the same time, you know, under Sean Walsh at the time in the mid-'80s when I first came here and, and that staff, um, not only you become a better player, you, know, you become a better person. And um, you know, throughout my career, I've, I've learned a great deal um, from my experience at Maine. And uh, just coming back here, it's just a great event, like I said, and have the ability to, to see, see people that I haven't seen in a long time and uh, meet some new faces. We got great weather today. Um, a spectacular event for Maine Athletics when you really look at this being our inaugural Alphon Classic. We've got 44 teams, full field, $100,000 in sponsorship. Um, it's not only going to be a terrific day for everyone here, but also a terrific fundraiser for our department. 
um, helping us put money right back into the program. So we're, we're happy to be at Belgrade Lakes Golf Course. I mean, you couldn't pick a finer venue than here today, and I think everyone's just having a great time, and it's a great day for Maine Athletics. Uh, so I was a volunteer here today for uh, the Alphon Classic Golf Tournament. Um, really proud to be a part of Maine Athletics. Um, as a Maine alum, I know that there's it's always a good day to be a black bear, um, so I want to make sure that generations to come get to have that experience. So by volunteering with uh, Maine Athletics, you get the chance to ensure scholarships, to make sure that we have top-rate facilities. Um, again, just to, you know, it's a college of our heart always. So, you know, making sure that that, that tradition carries on. Duncan's specially crafted coffees. Macchiato. Latte. New Americano. Cold brew. Made to make your day. America runs on Duncan. EBS Building Supplies features paint like no other. They are your local authorized Benjamin Moore paint supplier. Any paint, any stain, any need, anywhere, indoor or outdoor. Benjamin Moore paint combined with the expert advice from EBS will brighten your day and your space. Color yourself inspired. It's your life. Live it. EBS Building Supplies can do. Just ask. Duncan's specially crafted coffees. Macchiato. Latte. New Americano. Cold brew. Made to make your day. America runs on Duncan. It's go time at Duncan with two egg and cheese English muffin sandwiches for $3. Enjoy two freshly made oven toasted sandwiches and keep on all day long. America runs on Duncan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Finish it. Good, good. Yeah, turn around. Turn around. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hunt. Hunt. Much better. Much better. Okay, let's pick up the cone. Let's get your heart rates down. They are going to be going through another little bit of a walk through. So I'm going to put the starters in there, and then can you get the other ones arranged in a four, two, three, one? You may. She said Shannon can walk. walk. Yeah, Shannon. And yeah. Okay. So this is our starting lineup for tomorrow. All right, in our shape. All right. So listen up. So Mick, 
Amy, Emma, and defensively, we're in our framework of a two and a one. So it gives you kind of the definitive idea of the forward uh, attacking midfielder, two strikers, two wide players. When we have it though, one of you has the authority based on the circumstances. We want to take care, we want to take advantages of two sides. So you, we can be a two forward. All right, one of you will become like the hybrid when we have possession. So one will be a holder, two will advance. It's either one of you, but you're always gonna kind of be the one that's hot. Okay, there's our shape. All right, so let's come out. So you're gonna come in, start centrally to one side. So now, if we find ourselves in a situation where the two press high, okay? We always have the option of sending one of those wide. So if it's Michaela, you choose, right? So Michaela gets out. Remember, you're gonna bump your, and Michaela, I want you into that angled space this way. Bump, bump, and now we get the wing back in from the opposite side, and we're out. So whatever side person Lena calls you the decoy. So she gets out, you two guys bump and occupy, wing back from the weak side comes in. Because think about this, with their wide diamond tucked in, that space is gonna be available, right? So they're tucked in, they're compact. Lena, you're gonna have all day to play out of that. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Can we do it both sides? Let's just see you get it out. Okay. So the one o'clock kickoff tomorrow, we do a little bit different change in our protocol that rather than coming me coming into the locker room five minutes before we go out, let's meet at eleven. Okay? So just plan accordingly that we'll go up into the video room just to do our little reminders, five minute talk about before going out. Then you have all of that time away from the, to do your locker room thing and go out on your own. Does that make sense to us? So we'll just say we'll be upstairs, not obviously in your cleats, but we'll meet upstairs in the video room at 11 a.m. And again, it's a five minute, just you know, get, get ourselves collectively together, review a couple key things and we're on our way. That's the, that's the organizational thing. And then ultimately, we'll come out here to be on the field for 12.15. That will be your, and we'll get into our couple minutes on your own. We'll get into our warm up and we're on our way. Now look, you guys should feel very, very good about the work we've put forward in the last 12, 13 days, 14, 15 days, okay? That said, it's only been 15, 16 days, all right? And this truly is an evolving thing. So, you know, our goal here is to be better than the last time out. So are we better on Sunday from Wednesday's performance? You, you have the information. More importantly, you have the right intention. We're always going to go out there with the very best of intentions. And you're always going to work hard. That's never going to be an issue. It's we want to be disciplined, and smart. We want to work smarter, not necessarily harder. All right, and so all of those things in our story that we have the chance to improve are there for us. And the, the temptations are gonna be there. And that's exactly what we want because we wanna see how we prevail. And we wanna see how we deal with those challenges and those things that are gonna tempt us. But man, when we play, when we play the way we know how to play, whew, can't wait to just unleash. And that's a really important thing. That's our, we're looking forward to watching us play tomorrow. That's a really exciting thing, all right? And that's what we do it for. So enough thinking, all right? The thinking you should be doing now is dreaming about good dreams for tomorrow. You have a good meal, you eat well, you hydrate and you rest and you just can't wait to get going. It's a really, really exciting day, okay? Lise, anything to add to that? Yeah, I've seen how hard you guys have worked since uh, January when we started up again. So now it's the time where you guys can enjoy everything you did. So make sure you enjoy it the game, everything that comes with it. Pete? Yeah, I'm ready to have fun. <laughs> Do you know how fast it goes? <laughs> <laughs> so, for the freshmen, raise your hand. Right? 33 years ago, I was a freshman here. Do you know how fast? Do you know, but here's, the, here's my point. Do you know how fast it goes? And so, smell the roses. Be in the moment. Be in the moment. Because whatever happens tomorrow, we, we're going to handle it. Good, bad, or indifferent. But stay in the moment. Because it does go by fast. Okay? Let's get I your would, hands up. I was bored.
You were born 33 years ago. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> On three. Family. One, two, three. Family! kids here coming to watch us enjoy this um, you know these gonna be the people that's coming to see our games and stuff like that it's just a great experience for me because these like when I was younger I was these kids you know coming to see college players and stuff like that so this is just give us motivation get a love back because they come here spending their money on us their time to come see us play so it's just a great experience for us having fun. Great time to be out here with the kids, being able to see our, the fan support and all, all the kids out here. Uh, uh, hopefully, future black fans of, uh, of the University of Maine. Uh, no doubt, you know, I'm just looking forward to tonight and being with the kids and seeing smiles on their faces and laughs and joys with my brothers and my teammates. It's always a great time to be out here with black fans. It brings the team together. The, uh, the chemistry we have as a team this year is great. So this one, this one makes it even better at, uh, from this night too. I feel as though it's just a great way to end camp. It's that to put us all together and make us one and be ready to go out there and play games. You know? Go out there and show out for the great fans of the University of Maine. Beat you and H. I think it does. I think it makes us get strong, like builds character, and it makes it feel nice, like a true family. Because what's the point of just playing football and like just for us? You know, we got to do it for the whole state of Maine, and it's pretty nice seeing all the families around having fun. Um, and it doesn't truly help because they're basically our future, also. So it's pretty nice. Everybody's enjoying Batman right now. Um, it was a pretty fun night. Uh, we had a lot of kids. We had I didn't expect that many kids, but we had a lot of kids here. It was pretty fun. You know, I've never been around an atmosphere like that, just being a new guy here. Um, especially me, I'm coming from Canada, so I didn't it's nice, it's nice to feel the mood here. So it's it a pretty good night. scenarios of what we can get into in these spaces and what it takes to get into those spaces and see if we can do it. 
Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can put our spin on it now and dictate the way we want to fight. Continue with your patience. All right? Continue with your patience. Be supportive of each other. All right? Let's get at it. Here we go. Family. One, two, three. Family! Here we go!